to Peninsula State Park, one of five Door County State Parks and one of the most popular parks in all of Wisconsin. And today, we're getting a tour. First opened in 1909, this 3,800 acre gem is located along Door County's western coast between the villages of Fish Creek and Ephraim. It offers visitors a multitude of activities and sweeping scenic vistas. To start off our tour, I stopped in to chat with the assistant superintendent of the park. Peninsula State Park is about enjoying the out of doors. There is something for just about any outdoor recreation that you can name. There's places to fish, there's places to boat, there's places to play golf, there's places to bike ride, hike, swim. We have campsites for people with tents. We have campsites that'll accommodate some of the largest RVs that are made. If you can think of an outdoor activity, we probably have some place in the park where you can do that. When it comes to trails, this place has you covered with 40 miles of biking and hiking trails. The Sunset Bike Trail is one of the park's most popular and features a gravel base for easy riding. Now if you like hiking, this park is a great place to be. They've got a ton of hiking trails scattered throughout the park, including this one which happens to be one of my favorites, Eagle Trail. Make sure you wear your hiking shoes, it gets a little steep in a couple of spots on this particular trail. But if you're dressed appropriately, this can be a very relaxing and fascinating hike. There are some fun rock formations you can meander through along the trail, and portions of it run along the base of Eagle Bluff. How's that for a backdrop? Which rises over 150 feet straight up in certain places along the trail. The 18-hole Peninsula State Park Golf Course offers golfers scenic views and lush fairways and greens amidst a combination of hills and flat terrain. People seem to enjoy it. It's not a hard course, you know, and, and you see every age from, you know, eight, nine-year-olds to well into senior citizens. We have a couple 80-year-olds that play here regularly. Well here at hole number eight, sort of their signature hole on the course, it's at only 69 yards, par three. However, the tee box sits atop a bluff, so you're hitting down, it's a lot of fun. Get in the hole. One of the many highlights here at Peninsula State Park is right behind me here, it's Eagle Tower, and we're heading to the top. It's only 75 feet, let's go. For those of you that can't climb the steps to get up here for this incredible view, here's what you're missing. The lighthouse is also a popular spot in the park and has a long and storied history that you can experience for yourself. Welcome to Eagle Bluff Lighthouse, one of the historic gems of Door County built in 1868. We offer tours mid-June through mid-October from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's one of the most interesting tours in Door County. You can climb almost to the top here and you got a really great look at the fifth order Fresnel lens that sits up in the lantern room. Guided tours take around 30 minutes and include time both inside and out. Next, it was off to Nicolay Bay Beach, the park's popular swimming and sunbathing area. They rent all sorts of great water sports equipment here at Nicolay Bay Beach, including kayaks, canoes, hydro bikes, pedal boats, and even paddle boards, not to mention day sailors. And if you like to hit the bike trails on land rather than on the water, they rent regular bikes here too. They've also got a camp store here stocked with lots of goodies and essentials, and don't forget about the beachside snack bar. I certainly didn't. Soft serve cones here at the snack bar, simply the best. Oh yeah. Two sand volleyball courts and a large grassy area can also be found here and help to make Nicolay Bay Beach a fun place to spend some time. You wanna know one of my favorite spots in the park? Well, it's right here. It's Sven's Bluff, scenic island overlook. Sven's Bluff offers sweeping views of the surrounding islands and coastline and is one of several scenic overlook spots that can be found in the park. The park's White Cedar Nature Center offers a variety of family programming and houses an assortment of displays and taxidermy. Located along Bluff Road, it's definitely worth a visit. Two park shelters are also available for your recreational enjoyment, one at Weeberg Point and another at Welkler's Point, which houses an interesting bat display and is home to a couple of bat houses. Looking for a spot to launch your canoe or kayak? Look no further than the convenient canoe and kayak launch site that can be found at Tennyson Bay. 
The park's impressive outdoor amphitheater is home to American Folklore Theater, a professional company that typically performs three shows in repertory from mid-June to late August. I sat down with the company's artistic director to talk about their professional yet affordable family entertainment under the stars. That combination, I think, is really surprising to a lot of people who venture out here. They think, oh, it's just going to be something in the park, you know, and it's, you know, what is it, banjo pickers? No, it's not banjo pickers. It's a really professional musical theater experience yeah. that's enjoyable and good for the whole family. I mean, how can you beat that? You can. <laughs> there you go. You can. <laughs> no visit here would be complete without the experience of sitting around a relaxing campfire with family or friends and reflecting on another glorious day here in Door County. A roasted hot dog, marshmallow, or even s'more doesn't hurt either. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our whirlwind tour of Peninsula State Park today. And I also hope that you get a chance to experience this Door County gem the next time you're here on the peninsula. So until next time, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.